Yo, 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 we back with another episode. We are friends on the rampage. You already know it's your boy Zeno One Twenty. I got my boy Big Cat Man here. Yes, Big Cat. I put my cat in a hat. Now they call him Cat Cap. Let's go. You got. We got the, <laughs> got that boy Chris in here. Man, fuck your mama. Oh. All right. And then, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. we, got, we got Leo. Yo, what's up? And then, you know, you know we got to have a boy Juwan in here. Baby, what it do? All right. So, today. Today. We're talking about um how... People of color are represented in animated movies. So, I'm going to have Juwan start us off. How do you feel about how they depict us um, as far as like story, character? How do you feel about all of that? All right, all right. Bet. So, what really got me thinking about this was like um, before Soul came out, there was an article talking about how characters, how um, POCs are being treated. And the one that really spoke to me the most was uh, Presence in the Frog. And looking back on the movie, like, I love the movie, but looking back on it, I never realized that Tiana, the main character, the person they, like, hyped up to be in the movie, the first ever Black Disney princess, to be a frog for most of the movie, I thought that was kind of weak because... What Disney pretty much did was just advertise this person to be in a movie. And they were in the movie, but they were mainly a frog. And I was like, that was kind of weak. So, um, that was kind of weak. Holly, well, I do think there is some good representation. I think Coco was really good. And even though I'm not Hispanic, I did feel that, like, they paid, much, they paid attention to the Day of the Dead and Spirits and all that. And that was pretty dope. Um, those are the only two that I have for right now but that was that's what really kind of got me going with this like especially with soul coming out too so that was that that's fair um Mm -hmm. i mean i i personally okay i have i i didn't actually notice that they did that with people until somebody mentioned the princess of the frog because i I saw the princess of the frog maybe for the first time in full like maybe in 2019 so, that was weird. Um, and then other people started pointing certain stuff out to me, and I'm just like, oh, okay. Anyway, anyway, Chris, how you feel about it? Shoot, you know they like tra- transforming black people in all types of animals and shit. Uh, the reason I'm going like as we were as we were talking about stuff earlier before we got on here. Uh, I started thinking about like some of the representation of black people, even though they weren't particularly black. Like, if y'all ever think about like Dumbo, like Dumbo, the the you know, the elephants with the ears, yeah. like Disney, Disney do not fuck with black people at all. Like the uh, the fucking crows, the crows were the racist. Uh, what what was the what you call it? What um black caricatures of that sh- of that of uh, of that movie? Mm-hmm. It's like black, like, yeah. Yeah, the, the black crows. They be uh, they were speaking in slang, talking about some yo master, you you know his house and I don't know where's and stuff like that. Like the certain uh, uh black uh certain uh southern slang for black folk back in the day, and mm-hmm. like if you really think about some of the other movies, I can't really think of none right now. Trust me, when I start thinking of them, they gonna start flying out my mouth. But like, like going back there when he said the princess and the frog, prince of the frog first advertised specifically like yes this is a black woman from new orleans blah 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 she's gonna be a black princess and when you actually look at her before she even turns into a frog her representation was she just wanted to own she was a broke woman in new orleans who was trying to buy try to buy her uncle's restaurant and stuff and they she got, she got up the money and the bank the bank owners and the, and stuff like that said we ain't give you shit and literally sold it to somebody else sold it to a white person really just just like oh well fuck her and then 
some prince came along and Which, then just just i just want to say i don't like how her quote-unquote prince was another black dude but that's i, I digress I, I I was gonna go there. With yeah, same. Like, was he some white? He was some. He was some French guy. No, nah, like I think he, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure he was like Arab. Yeah, Arab or French or something. He was brownish. I don't right. know what he was, but he uh, he got transformed. And when he came around her, he was like, "All right, transform me." And they just instead of doing like the whole uh, princess and the uh, uh, what is it? What was the first one? Was the, the princess and the Frog or the frog, the the, the prince the pre- just killed, kissed the prince who had turned into a frog, and he turned back into a prince. Yeah, yeah, it's supposed it's supposed to be. Yeah, you know, it was a white princess for- that turned him back at the end of the movie. Yeah. Oh, oh, shoot! Look, oh, uh, we all we all going going on heavy bases right now. So, like, literally, the first part was like like the first story mention of this is where a princess kisses a frog that was a dude and he turns into a prince and the print the princess was a was a white woman i, I run to say something else but i stopped myself and mm. oh no we're gonna get there i'm gonna say the word but it's not gonna be yet and then in this movie instead of like letting the black girl turn the prince into a prince it was literally all right black girl kisses the frog she now frog why y'all do that? Why? I, I didn't Listen, like that. Big Why y'all do things? That? I thought it was. If I, I don't remember the story like fully because it's been like I think I watched it back when I was in middle school. Right. But I, I think the whole thing was this: like, okay, the prince is a runaway because he he want he doesn't want to be forced married, so he runs off into New Orleans, tries to live his like life as a normal person while being like kind of like hiding his money as a rich person. So he's having his like basically his fun time in New Orleans. Meets a witch doctor. Um, kind of does that thing with Beauty and the Beast where uh, it's like, oh, I'm not gonna like trust you or like have faith in you. Turns out, aha, I'm actually a witch and I'm gonna curse you. So that happens to him. The spell only breaks when he's kissed by a princess. Um, and I think it's like they were like, yeah, like the main character, female character, she is trying to buy her dad's restaurant from like the bank so that way she can own it or i think it was something like that yeah she's trying but, to make a restaurant as per yeah. her dad wanted so she's yeah so I, I, and i i think she she's invited to a party that like some white pr- like it, it was it was the goes- lady her mom worked for her daughter i want to say it was like her yeah, yeah for her daughter and, she, and her daughter i think was a princess was she no she, her, her no, dad she was, was rich that, that's alpha the technicality because her dad was the king of chicken or some shit like that <laughs> yeah. oh yeah, the, was it that's how it worked yeah, yeah it was yeah. something like that oh, okay 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 king of chicken i, 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 I don't <laughs> yeah dude, he I don't was remember. legitimately he was legitimately the king of some type of food i just said chicken because it's new orleans yeah. What about what about know, seafood? Know, what about no? Nah, it wasn't no damn seafood. It he was, was like it was some type of chicken. Let's just say was, she was fast food. Technically a princess. All right, I, I remember that. I remember yeah. it's like he's like, okay, you're you're clearly a princess because you're wearing all that garb, so you could turn me back. And it's like, okay, fuck it, whatever. Uh, because she doesn't technically have princess status, it doesn't work and it ends up failing. I thought that was the whole like thing. It was like, oh. You weren't the princess I thought you were, and it's like, well, no, I I was just dressed up. I mean, I that that was that was the technicality of it. But what I'm saying is this: why why she had to turn into a frog too? Because how, how did the what? curse reverse on her too? Like that's that's what I'm trying to get. To. That's why I was getting to like normally it's just like all oh, um, true love, some blah blah blah, and. The person that became a frog turns back into a nope. It was not that at all. So, and and I'm glad you mentioned that, Leo, because I almost forgot about I almost forgot about the white lady being the the princess. The hero. Not, no, no, not way. even just, not even just the hero, the being the princess, because in the beginning of the story, her and her and the uh, what's her name, uh, uh, Tosa. What what the fuck is a good black girl's name? Who Tiana? Man. Tiana. Yeah, Tiana. I don't, so. <laughs> Damn. 
I I bet I look last time I watched the movie was like a year ago. So Tiana and her were friends since they were kids, right? But it was almost somewhat like a master and slave yeah, relationship, relationship yeah. a little bit. Because her mom was a bit. maid and she used yeah. to play with the the lady's child that she worked yeah. for. Yeah, it was it was mm. I didn't like that, but you know, still representation. That's why we, we were only talk about representation, so stuff like that. And then we we move on for when she becomes a frog where she's in now the bayou and you meet the black animals, which was the the fl- which was the firefly, the crocodile, um you had the had the old sugar mama, the witch doctor. Um <laughs> We're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about the Proud family eventually on here, but not right now. And like it it's it's um it's it's telling like it's showing some type of black culture, but it's also kind of racist. It, it's over over dramatized. It's 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 it's, it's, it's their over dramatization. Yeah. And it's just like, okay, I'll give you trying to show the jazz culture and some of this, but y'all doing y'all 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 reaching. Actually, I'll reach him pretty heavily. I didn't think about the fact that the animals are supposed to re- represent the black people of New Orleans. Uh, yeah. Yep. But I think because I don't I, think the crocodile was though. I think he was kind of out of his element. But I think everybody else is pretty spot on. I was I was saying the crocodile because he's trying to be a jazz musician. Jazz black people started jazz. Man, he was just he was just an awkward. If you if you took away the like. Him being a crocodile, he would just been a fat black dude trying to make it as a jazz musician. Okay, mm. <laughs> I'll give you that. And the end of the story is this: the the master kiss kiss the uh, kiss the uh, prince frog, and then both of them turn back. So at the end of the day, white people save the day, and the black lady still technically didn't become a princess. She was an independent woman who was able to open up a restaurant. That's not a fucking princess. She, no, like no, like seriously, she she wasn't actually a princess. I, but they said they they she they was independent. That she don't I N D E P E N D E N T. And then and then that's one more thing with the whole um you know, usually when it comes to princesses, they usually have a prince. No, nope, I'm independent. I can do everything on my own. So why the black woman gotta do everything on her own? <laughs> like, I mean, like, black women like, do, like, can't get do help. everything on their own, though. No, no, I ain't trying to hear that. <laughs> why can't she get some fucking help? <laughs> <laughs> she can't. Like, like, of course she could do it by all her own, but does she want to? Nigga, no. Uh, no, but that was no. He's not. Only reason I, I actually agree with that because by the end of the the movie, that was supposed to be her lesson. Like everything doesn't have to be done on your own. It's okay to ask for help. Yeah, yeah. But they didn't. They really didn't emphasize it that much, even though that's the lesson that's supposed to be learned. So that that's that's my throw a breakdown of the movie. What? It, like I'm, I'm gonna let y'all speak and let y'all say something. I mean, cause... you, you kind of the animal part. I didn't really that part didn't click. I ain't gonna lie. That, that actually makes a lot more sense. Yeah. Um, Bro, I ain't seen that movie in too long. I don't even yeah. remember. Yeah. <laughs> no, but 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 like one of my biggest things is that um one well okay define princess right because Disney princesses it's it's weird how they do it because. Like even was it Mer- Meredith from uh, Brave? She's not a yeah princess. Don't people? <laughs> I remember a whole thing about cultural appropriation or something in that movie. I don't know. Really? People were complaining That's about weird. stuff. I don't it's know. She had fri- it's because she had frizzy hair. Talking about some cultural appropriation. I'm like, have y'all not seen the motherfucker? The motherfucker got frizzy hair. Yeah, no, she's. Irish, right? Or uh, something about how she yeah. was talking or something. I don't know. It was just, it's just weird. Yeah, yeah. People were talking about everything. Well, I got Disney Plus. I'm, I'm about to hook this up and see, see Brave tonight. <laughs> He's like, I'm about to look at all this. No, I'm, um, about, I'm about to see. I'm about to do some research. Hey, cause... Brave was stupid lit, though. No cap. I, I see, I got watching now. I don't. I yeah, Brave was that good. bear. Hey, that bear. That bear, man. Her, her mom. <laughs> um, Big well, bear ting. So, but he was offended. My thing is, right? What makes a this? This is just random. Like I'm, I'm just gonna digress real quick. What makes a Disney princess? And 
they had a whole was it uh Wrecking Ralph two where it was like all the Disney princesses and it was like Moana, <laughs> Tiana, uh, Meredith and all them. It was like wait, I did technically like they didn't you know say they had the same arc as the other ones did, but they're like Disney princesses, but. I mean the evolution of Disney princesses because technically Kyrie should have been in there too. No, I'm just playing. Shut up, shut <laughs> We're not going there. It shows the evolution. It shows there. the evolution of like you know um, how women are portrayed in media. Look, like in the old days, you know, that, it was but, all about. Denzel, I got I got to call cap on that because Tiana didn't come far from uh, Tangled. Who? The, who? Who's Tiana again? That that's the princess the, and the frog, oh, the black princess woman. and the frog. Yeah. Oh, oh that, I, it's, that it's, wasn't too far did. away from Tangled, and Tangled got a prince. I mean, hey, look, uh, come on, cities. Oh, <laughs> that's right. Hey, hers was a love story, though. So why the white bitch can't get, can get from dick, but the black bitch can't? What the fuck? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Damn, black woman can't get no dick at home? But no, we gonna make me a white bitch get dick at home. Mm. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How did Princess of the Frog end? Because I don't remember. They, I don't remember um, really. It was a big party at Tia- at uh, Tiana's uh, restaurant. Okay, right. didn't they break the spell because, uh, what is it? what is his name? What Naveen, is that? Um... So, like, I'll, so I said, Naveen pretty much, like, at the end, near the end of the movie, Naveen married Tiana. And then when he married Tiana and then he kissed her, that's when they started to become human again. That was the end. What? But then she got married then. So what are we talking about? I, I don't. I'm confused now. <laughs> I, I don't. Are you sure? <laughs> dude, 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 I'm confused as fuck now. What are we arguing about? No. We weren't we arguing. Were arguing. We were trying to figure something out. Uh, uh, okay. I'm still lost I, now. I could have sworn. Yeah. I could have sworn that it ended because... The um, cause they were doing like black magic and like voodoo and stuff. And what is it's the uh the the famous like their voodoo god essentially. I can't remember his name, but he went to get the 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 antagonist, like the uh, uh, villain in the movie. Oh yeah, cause he cause he didn't he didn't live up to the deal. So the they, they literally they dragged they dragged his ass down to the underworld. Yeah, and I thought that's what had broke the spell. Cause like no, as, they were still frogs. They were still frogs. Uh, I don't know. I, I got nothing. Why do I feel like I, like my mind went blank? I'm like I don't remember how it is, but I, there's stuff like I this. don't. I don't know. I again. I the last time I watched that movie was back in middle school. Yeah. So like. So you're trying. You're having me try to remember a movie so, uh, I haven't seen since like shit eight or like ten years ago. I'm going. I'm going to go yeah, off of what Jawan. You the one. You the one who said that's how it ended. Yeah, that's how it ended. Then I'm going off of what the hell you say because you watched it. Yeah, I'm going off what you said now. Yeah, so that's that. Oh, at least uh, you get I, I, as a Mexican, the only uh, there's a couple of like movies and shows that do represent like our culture. Like Coco was a really good one. I, I did like the the whole aspect of what Day of the Dead is. They made that boy a skeleton. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Well, to be fair, a skeleton is Coco. still like. Inherently a human, you don't got no skin of meat. Yeah, that, well, well, they made the whole, that nigga dead. Well, that's the whole point, Chris, is that you're in the land of the dead. Yes, I know. It, in a lot of our culture, yes, you have kids dressed up as skeletons or like have face masks and candies of it. Like the, the, everything was spot on. Well, spot like on, Coco sorry. was a good representation. Of, See, like they do. They did this good. But uh, like uh, uh, other than like other like animated co- movies, I'm trying to think of other animated movies. Again, I don't watch a lot of movies, so I can't. It's really hard for me. I, I know a couple of cartoons, but I don't know any animated movies right now. Okay. I mean, okay. You know, go ahead. Go ahead. I was gonna say because oh, when Chris was talking about Dumbo, I was just reminded of something about the crows too. Uh, one of the crows' names was Jim. That's random. That can't be a that can't be a coincidence. They had to be deliberately put in. Disney don't fuck with black people. That's why. Like they put. When I noticed too, I was looking at Disney Plus, right, and all the old movies like Peter Pan, Lady and the Tramp. They all had like this this warning before you watch it to know that like these um what oh yeah the way we depict people are like a different. 
it was a different so time up. period or something. Yeah. So you can't, yeah, I remember. I actually even <laughs> they, seen that they, Disney like, hey, we Disney baby, you ain't canceling us because of our past. No, Disney was what like if you want to talk about like PLC representation, like I can talk. It's kind of sad that I could talk more about the bad than the good because right. like Disney was Disney's one of the ones that had like the the worst ones when it comes to my the crows, uh, the cats, and um Lady and the Tramp. Yep, and Aristocrats. Yep. Damn, I do not remember any of these fucking movies. Ah, you don't remember what? Lady and the Tramp? You don't remember Lady and the Tramp? Bro? No, I don't. Oh, if, bro, if you haven't seen something for almost twenty years, you can't blame somebody. Yeah, sure. Uh-huh. Dude, like, dude, like I get, like, I haven't watched a Disney like car, like anime movie like back when I was a kid, like since I was a kid. I, I don't. I mean, that I was... physically remember Denzel. The only ones I physically remember are the ones Kingdom Hearts brought back to me. Toy uh, Story. Okay. Like Fair. If, if Kingdom Hearts did not bring, like tell that story, I would not remember it. Damn. That's reckless. You reckless. Man. I, 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 like I, I remember, like everyone, where I had to go back every once in a while to like rewatch an animated like Disney movie. I'm not a line. I'm not into sing alongs. So that's that's just just as wasted oh, that, on that, me. That makes sense. Yeah. Wait. Hey. That, that is all of them. Yeah. That, that's the thing. Like I'm not gonna go back and like listen to some of these like songs because it's like okay, I understand okay. my childhood, but hey, I just I, I just not thought sing along. I, I thought of, I thought of a couple. I thought of a couple. I, let me, let me get my one out. So, 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 y'all remember, everybody remember Lion King, right? Yeah. Right. Y'all remember Lion King? Like Kingdom Hearts. So, so it, Lion King is lions and shit. We, we, we talking about Africa. So, every animal in there is British. By a British actor, <laughs> except Rafiki. That nigga's black. That is a nigga. <laughs> Wait, I thought Mufasa was, uh... Uh, the dude who played yeah, Darth Vader. Oh, oh, my bad about. Oh, my bad. Yeah, okay. So Mufasa and Rafiki. So I mean, that's got... pretty serious. Mufasa was like they killed. I mean, him. he wasn't the main character, but <laughs> he was pretty. Him. They ki- they chucked him off a cliff. <laughs> hey, but <laughs> I'm not. Even, I'm not even gonna play with you. Like they did, chuck this nigga off a cliff. His brother chucked him off. <laughs> hey, his brother was black too. And you know, about that. Hey, hey, oh, he was also British too. So. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what does him being British guy do anything? I'm just saying, like, if we we're, we're basing a king, we we talk about a place in Africa where majority of the people that oh, are playing yeah. animals are not and not they're not doing African accents. No, they're British. Except, <laughs> except for Rafiki and the strong line they threw in the fucking cliff <laughs> and got ran over by a bunch of buffalo. So, like, uh, uh, are they buffalo? Nah, they were uh, uh, wildebeest. Wildebeest, wildebeest, wildebeest. Yeah, okay. yeah. We're, so he got trampled. So the strong black nigga got trampled by wildebeest, <laughs> and you got this other nigga just over here in trees acting up. He's a fucking, <laughs> he was trying to get good there, trying to get his shit out the door. <laughs> he got the he said the trees <laughs> acting up because he's a fucking baboon. Uh, dude, and I got, when he I... comes around, he starts slapping people with a stick. So <laughs> I, I just wanted to throw that out there real quick before. Just go ahead, Holland. I t- <laughs> mm. Mm. I'm sorry. Mm. He said he got, he got him acted up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm weak. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right. Um, I I know everybody remembers the Little Mermaid, right? No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. You talking <laughs> about Sebastian? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Hey, Sebastian? Yo. Was that Sebastian was a crab, the Jamaican crab. <laughs> Why is he Jamaican? Are you sure it wasn't a fish? <laughs> nah, no, that was... it was Sebastian. <laughs> that was that... <laughs> thing. Yo, that was uh, a flounder. Fish. You're thinking of flounder. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Flounder was just a white kid. No, yeah, Sebastian was one hundred percent a Jamaican. Flounder was just a white kid. Why was Sebastian Jamaican? I never understood that. I was oh, always yeah. confused. I remember under the sea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bro, yeah. under the sea. So you know, when under the sea, there's a lyric, right? Just like this, um, this lyric, and it's like the black fish she sing. It's a black fish singing. Yeah. I do know what she's talking about. And it's like, see, <laughs> and like she come out of nowhere and she's like, ah. like yo, let me tell you why that's so funny. Cause, cause why is he, why is he the only one with it? Like he Jamaican. Why is he yeah, Jamaican? 
Hey, hey, the man was he came out the Jamaican uh short made, man. Made that man a fool. That's what they do. <laughs> they were making uh, fun of Hey, uh, he was he was responsible, man. He was responsible. So he was the mammy. What was the mammy uh, male version of a mammy? Because all he did was take <laughs> care of her. And, and, hey, you shouldn't do that. So dumbass, look at you. Hey, at least it wasn't. At least it wasn't flat. That man Flounder was useless. At least, uh, was, at least Sebastian matters. He was a, a waste of space. He was just I, a. I don't know. No, that man that was lunch. All. What do you mean? <laughs> he, no, he was bait. There we go. Yeah. He, <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh wait, here's here's a decent one. Here's a decent one. Here's some here's some good uh, representation from uh from uh Disney. But uh, y'all remember Hercules, the uh, the the uh, the, the ladies that was singing. Yeah, the true singer, the true sayers. Yeah, Man, they was going crazy. So, I ain't gonna lie. so they, so those are goddesses that just oversee the universe and literally just tell the stories about what happens. Oh, so, is that what they're supposed to be? Yeah, that that's what they are in Greek culture. Huh. Oh, I so didn't those, know so that that's 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 one thing. That's that's one good thing right there. Hey. I don't know about I I I, I give Disney one. There we go. Have you ever, minus Disney, just have you ever seen the movie Over the Moon? I haven't. I heard it. I heard yeah. of it. I just now got a chance to see it. Hey, that does sound familiar. Hey, it's on Netflix. That joint, that joint kind of hot. So basically, I think she's Chinese. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I have seen it. it that bitch angry. <laughs> Why she <laughs> what? Bitch. That bitch was angry. I don't. The girl she who lost people her, like shit. She was chi- she was Chinese. She lost her mom because she was sick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then she treated people like shit. No, 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 no. You talking about uh? I don't know what you're talking about. You talking about the last, the last. So talk about the one where she had a friend on the moon, and she literally just treated that motherfucker like shit until like halfway in. Yeah. Okay. So spoiler alert. I'm just gonna put it there. Over the moon is about a little Chinese girl, right? Her mom dies because she was sick, and then she ended up living with her dad. But her mom always taught her the story about this woman who um took an, an infant to bi- like a uh immortal pill, like a a pill that'll make her immortal that she got from her it wasn't her husband at the time, but it was like her boyfriend or whatever. But he ended up dying. And in order for her in order for the like the bad guys to not get the immortal pill, she took both of them. So she end, and then she like went to the moon. I don't remember what why she went to the moon, but she ended up going on the moon. And her mom always told her this story, like, oh, it's this lady on the moon, and she's waiting for her, you know, essentially her husband, like the guy he's supposed to represent, to come, you know, meet her. But she got an immortal pill, so she just don't die. She's been up there by herself. But she went with her emerald bunny, like a rabbit or a bunny or something, one of those. And so what he's talking about is when she gets there, because the girl's like, oh, if I go to the moon, maybe... The lady will like she's trying to like prove something. I don't remember the exact um, premise of it of why she was going to the moon, but she gets there and the lady's like, "Oh, d- do you got it?" Because she need like the like special piece that'll complete the little puzzle. And she's like, y- y- "Yeah, what you said." <laughs> so she was like basically like um, mean to her like the whole movie, uh, but mostly because she was sad and lonely, and it was just like. She was going through like a essentially depression because she missed her like her the one who she loved the most. But it's re- really good. Like she's like a little Chinese girl. They got dumplings. Everybody in her like little city. They uh, got dumplings. Oh shit! That's all I need to hear. The, the dumplings is supposed to be like they, she got like her special recipe from her mom and stuff. And like everybody's the like they they represent it very well. Like the the from the models to like the culture. To all that stuff is decent, bro. Well, from 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 what I understand, like it wasn't nothing that was just like so far fetched. When you kind of look sideways, like uh, that doesn't seem right. Like from my understanding, it was pretty like a good representation of like their culture. Sure, I, if now you talking about uh Asian Asian people, we could also talk about Mulan, where Mulan uh, is just don't, a don't hey look 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 we don't we don't bring up. We don't, as long as we're not talking about the new one, like fuck, I know that's, it's that's not, not new one. I know animated. it's not animated, but it comes up in the conversation because it oh, is Mulan. Right? Wait, wait. That's, so they okay. That's shit trash. I hate them. I hate them. In my opinion, it should have been better because they got Donnie Yen in it. We had 
We had some blockbuster action people in that mug, and it, I hear it wasn't as good. I'm gonna watch it. I need to watch it for me to even. I'm say not it watching myself. that shit. I'm yeah, not supporting that I, shit. Okay. I I'm have to watch it for myself. No, it's I don't free on Disney Plus. Nah. Second nah. you pay for it. My problem is I know. I'm not gonna give them the stream. I'm not gonna give them the satisfaction, bro. Hell, it's no. not even, I'm not. You don't have to pay for it no more. I'm about to watch. I know, but I'm not gonna give them the stream. They're not gonna get. They're not gonna report on their shit. That yeah, we had a. Denzel Everhart watched this movie last month. Yeah, oh, man. He, oh he thought that God. shit was A1. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't say that shit. Oh, no. You keep me out of the conversation, you, goddamn you it. Gotta, you got to do You gotta do your research for yourself. You can't keep going on. No, bro. I don't have to do shit. I know okay, enough about true. it. Okay, true. this is how I feel about Milan. I feel like they used it as a the namesake to sell. Because initially right. it came out and you had to buy it on top of Disney+. Plus. But they use that Mulan. Was, that was crackhead culture right there. Oh, that was super crack culture. But then they made it free for Disney. If you just did have Disney Plus, my thing is they just they they could have called it something else. Because really, from what I that wasn't Mulan. about Mulan is that it, it wasn't the animated Mulan remade into like the live action. That's it. Really wasn't that. It was just her name and like the concept of what Mulan was like supposed to be. Um, uh, but apparently they corrected done the horribly. Stuff. Um, I was I was about to say because like there's really three stories in Milan and it's kind of following one of the darker stories of her. Yeah, well, see, like the animated one, it was some his, uh, historic inaccuracies in there. Um, and from what I understand, Mulan doesn't have like an in an, an, uh, definitive origin. It's actually loosely based off of different stories. Uh, from what I understand, like Fa yeah. Mulan. And they got another one, and they got like different translations and stuff. But it's not like a definitive like this is Mulan, this is her person, this is where it came from. Right. right. Hey, we gonna talk about how, we gonna talk about how the general had a had a gay boner for her before he before he knew it was a girl. Low key, he did. He was. He did. Way. He was like, "You're not a fucking twink. What the fuck?" I mean, he was, was like, upset. "Damn, you got a pussy. Fuck. <laughs> I wanted some of that man, but <laughs> that pussy." Yo. <laughs> he wanted some pussy. He was upset. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted that man butt. Hey, nah, I came for man butt, Chris Handsome. Oh, see, I called you Chris Handsome. <laughs> and, and you happen to be. He's like, oh, your name Mulan. Damn. <sighs> I'm trying to show you how to be a man. Like, oh god. No, I, I don't fuck. I, I can't fuck with it. It, I, it was just cap. Like it was Mary Sueish. Like I, I didn't watch the movie. But I watch reviews of people that I trust on their opinion. And like that that that's not what I wanted to watch. That's not the moon line that I wanted to see. So I'm not supporting it in any way, shape, or form. I, I feel that, but I gotta I gotta see it for myself. I, I kinda wanna watch it. And I, I understand that. I understand that. You know, you you're you're entitled to that, but I'm not giving them my stream. I refuse. I I, I fully understand. I fully understand. But back to the movie Mulan. Everybody like yeah. the first one, right? The first one, the first one's good. Right? First one was yeah. A one, one of my yeah, favorite was, Disney movies of all time. First one was my childhood, some of my childhood, man. It's good, like I mean, from the. Go ahead. No, you go. I was just gonna say like how they did the um, the ancestors, where they had had them have like a spirit, a uh, certain spirit animal guarding them, guarding guarding the uh, warriors as they going into fighting, which is actually that's something that comes up in their culture a little bit. It's not like I had to. I had to really dive dove into Chinese culture because them motherfuckers got culture, culture. Like it's literally, it's literally vast as hell. And if you if you don't really like sort of sit in there and study it, you are gonna get lost quick. Fair. Um. No, I, I like I like Mushu. Mushu. No, I like Mushu. Uh. It, it, oh, there we go. Found the black one. <laughs> I was about to say it to Eddie, Eddie, Eddie Murphy. Mushu is the OG. Eddie oh, the oh, he dude. was like, "This sound on you. This sound on your cow." <laughs> <laughs> so, so my uh, again another another black one. We found one. We found one in a Chinese movie. Look at that. So, dragons and 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 Asian culture are gods. They're they're literal gods. They made this nigga a goof. Made him can't do shit. Just a little little uh, spits a little bit of fire lizard versus a dragon dragon god from Asian culture. I'm just throwing that out there. That's some bullshit. Wait, what? 
What so, is Wushu? Mu- yeah. Wushu being the size and his capabilities. The size and the capability. When, yeah, in Asian true. culture, drag like Asian dragons are gods, literal gods. They form, they form, they bring life, they bring prosperity onto the entire land. They're they um they're cosmic beings. Mushu mm-hmm. is a tiny cosmic being that can't do shit, and a fucking human can kill him. That should not be the case because he's a fucking dragon. Then he was supposed to be Look, I, I'm not here. I'm not here for um. For historically accurate I, I, dragons, I, I, all right. I'm it's a saying, musical, but that's another. That's a. That, but he's Bush is being played by Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy is mm. another. It's another black representational character. They're making him into a clown. See, I didn't see it like that. I I, I know. I'm just bringing it up because just when you said Mushu, that clicked like that. I'm like, do you not character. like Mushu? Not no, like I like Mushu. I like Mushu. I'm just saying when it comes to them. How they treat the black person in these movies is, you nigga, you a clown. I mean, Duncan. I feel you. Or you getting chucked off a cliff and getting ran over by some but he was, blows. <laughs> but he was also he was also a dragon, which was pretty cool. I mean, that was not that's <laughs> the real dragon I, I, that I, was I, supposed I, to be with her. He accidentally killed him. <laughs> he was supposed to be a big ass stone dragon. I remember that. <laughs> My G, this man, <laughs> when he first showed him, he's like, Moo shoes. Like, oh shit. Uh, oh, she's like, You my guardian dragon? Y- yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Really? <laughs> he, was, he wasn't even supposed to be on the job. <laughs> on the job. <laughs> he, he literally, everybody was like, Why is this bitch ass nigga guarding her? Like, that's really not who was supposed to be with it. Like, that was, that was, this nigga was a servant. Mm. Well, you know he saying? showed the motherfuckers like, that he was really the OG dragon, bro. He was American Dragon Jake Long 2.0. So don't play with him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just, I'm just saying we're just going by representation because that's that's representation. Fair. Most yeah. of the time, I feel the dragons you. are seen as like this. Uh, I'm just man. still mad that they didn't put Mushu in the fucking movie. That's just trash. They took it all, all of the fucking musicals, like. Oh trend. no! Once they took out, the, <laughs> they're like, "Ain't no music." Well, I don't need to be watching this. Then. I can't hear like, Bia, man. What the? F- what? Right, I'm bro. Here, that no, bro, that about, shit. Hey, that that shit ain't good. Good. That's what we doing. How am I gonna learn how to be a man if they don't tell me Mulan? Ex- tell me that. How am I gonna be swift as a coursing river without that song, bro? You what feel the fuck? Me? Like I don't. You know what I'm saying? I, right. Hey, look. Hey, well, play I'm not, like I'm, that I'm shit ain't right, bro. Who the fuck's turning up on this shit? I'm just gonna pop that movie in the second we get off this live, get off this, get off this podcast. I want to watch it. Um, that movie's amazing, man. It is one, look, it's one of my favorite. Disney I'm not movies talking ever. about. The, I'm not talking about the old. I'm talking about the new one. Oh, oh fuck out of here! You, you can keep that shit. <laughs> <laughs> did y'all, okay, did anybody watch Mulan two? I, I, I did. did. I don't remember it. I don't remember it. I, I didn't even know there was like Mulan it. two. <laughs> yes, it's a Mulan two. And it was one of those straight to DVD joints. Uh, yeah, I, you already know how straight to DVD go. I've heard. Yeah, yeah. No, hold on, hold on. All of them are bad. Oh, mention a, mention in twos. What about Lion King two? It's trash. What about Lion King? We're gonna talk about Lion they, King. They they treated the dark skin ple- people like shit. Yeah, they did treat the dark skin <laughs> lion like shit. No, 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 no gap, no gap. Yeah, they did. That's fucked up. <laughs> I'm not about to play with them. <laughs> Yeah, well, no, just one of us. Oh my god! I don't know why that just made me think about the fucking animated, um, the new animated Lion King. That shit was garbage. I <laughs> never watched. I'm never going to watch. Guard, Lion Guard. No, I'm talking about the fucking like oh, pseudo like, live action no. Lion King. Yeah. Think of that movie. That movie's trash. Hey. Yeah, that movie. <laughs> <is> <laughs> big trash, bro. Hey, why you so like that though? Cause I hate that movie. I watch this with my friends. They don't say it's good. No, stop lying to yourself. They ain't got no emotion, I, I bro. Lie, there was, I, I, they I, they didn't have no emotion. But like, here's the here's the one thing I like. They they went a little further back with some of the backstory a little bit. Just just a little bit. Just okay, a little yeah, bit. that's fine. I, did I, I they really? They did because they they talked about how Scar 
Scar Scar challenged Mufasa. He was like, I'm not doing that shit again. You beat my ass last time. He did say that. Mm -hmm. oh, hey, they did explain. Yeah, yeah. He was All like, right. I'm not fight. I'm not fighting you. I'm not stupid, bro. Like you already beat my ass. Like you know, nah, you got all the. <laughs> hey, you got hey, all did the that uh? That th uh, that theory that Scar ate Mufasa after he died. I did. I, I saw, saw it. it. I saw the theory. Yeah, yeah. that was that was weird. Know, That's why that was fucked. I mean, they were like hyenas people. don't eat lions, but lions eat other lions, and then they had like a a, a skull that Scar was eating. It was like oh, that's a lion skull. <laughs> I was like, yo, yeah, that what was the probably, fuck? That's probably his brother. He was hungry. Hey, man. You can't refer you can't forget Scar was hungry. Hey, man, he was hungry. He he didn't he wasn't eating his weenies. That's why his brother was beating his ass. So this man brought his dead brother carcass all the way to Pride Rock. Like, I'm gonna eat you. Now he might have just ate it this. Yeah. Him. I mean, he still had the bones. Maybe he just kept them off like as a souvenir. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, most likely they, he was it's like, not like they buried this nigga. He got eaten by somebody. That is true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Talking about no man, someone went out there, bitch. Get the fuck out of here, bro. They lions. And uh, what was it? What was it? Was one more thing that they they kind of went deeper? Oh, how how Tanaya escaped? Tanala escaped. Tanala? Like, huh? yeah. No? How she how she escaped? Because everything was surrounded by hyenas, and she was like, she just showed up where Simba was. Versus in the movie, in the new movie, they showed how she escaped. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, I like that. Like, those, that are the, those are the, those are the few things that I was like, okay, this ain't this. It's it's not good, but there's certain things that you're putting in here that we didn't see how they how it happened. So thank you. That's the only thing. Oh, and how the plan went down where he was just like, I could kill him faster now. Because Simba was being a little ass and he was just like, Hey, go play over there. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna send your dumb ass daddy over there, go kill I'm gonna kill that nigga. He's gonna die. <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo. They I showed thought, that. I just thought of some good representation too. I just thought of um no, to go back to Seoul, I was going to mention the barbershop scene. And I think that was a oh, good yeah. of black culture, too. Because, um, you know, some of the reactions to the people and, like, who, like, the people that were in there make sense. Like, if I got a bad haircut, everybody see it. Everybody's going to be like, damn, that, man, that boy got fucked up. Send him to the chair now. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> <Just, laughs> Then you got people who hate on the other side and be like, yo, he ain't finna be on there with Dorothea Williams. He's he a lame, basically. And I did like how um the I like the hairstyles of the characters. I like how um they also had, you know, this there's like this sheet when they tell you like the black the hairstyles of somebody's like one to twenty one. Oh yeah, you they see pictures the of them. styles and stuff, yeah. Mm -hmm. They had that in there, and I was like, Oh, that's pretty lit. That's like very relatable, and I can see that happening. And that's that's really boring in real life. And I think that that was a cool scene, too. And, yeah, that's pretty much it from Seoul. I think that's more... I just, I just forgot about something else. Do y'all do y'all consider... um Miles, Do y'all consider uh, Spider-Verse a good representation of a PLC or no? Yeah. I'll say so. Um, I have no idea. Like, it, it was basically just... Did um, you not see Spider-Verse? I was about to say. No, no I, I, I don't know if, if it was, like, a good, like... In terms of like was, you know nationality, I'm, I'm but it, saw I saw it as there. like a kid <sighs> stepping up to be a next hero. That's how I saw it. Actually, yeah, um, mm. I I like how they they they. So you know the scenes where he's walking, where he's walking to school, like the first part, and he's like, "Oh, hey, what's up, Miles?" And yeah, the very beginning. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? And then like when he gets to the school, he's like doing it, and he's like, "Oh, hey," and he's just like, and they just kind of look at him like, "Who are you?" He like the whole scene, and then like later on when he's Spider Man, oh yeah, they do the same thing. Um, I think the first two kind of like uh showed how different environments for different of people. color though. I saw that as like, oh, this dude is used to being like n not like I guess not the streets, but like around his his hood essentially. Yeah, right? but in the his neighborhood, his, his neighborhood, yeah, because yeah, he, he lives in the Bronx. Yeah, I, I he didn't live in the Bronx. Yes, he does. Like Miles' character lives in the Bronx. In the Spider Verse? Yes. Every in every iteration, Miles lives in the Bronx. He lives around a bunch of niggas and Puerto Ricans. Oh baby. I didn't know that. Yes, that's that's why he acts the way he does, because he's from the Bronx. 
he has the exaggerated swagger of a young black team. I, I thought it was <laughs> Brooklyn. I thought it was Brooklyn it was, too. It plays the origin, uh, Brooklyn. It's Brooklyn. I'm. It's Brooklyn. Yeah, I thought yeah. it was from the Bronx. My bad. No, I, I, I you're not. Hey, damn, we, don't, we don't do that now. false information shit here, Chris. You, you stop all of that right now. Okay, my bad. I thought the nigga was. I'm from just the fucking Bronx. with you too, out. I'm trying to think of like movies, and I don't know any. I I, I can't help with movies. I I know a few cartoons, but no movies. When we talk now, about I think about it. Brooklyn ain't no better either. <laughs> That's some Brooklyn hitters out there, bro. <laughs> Brooklyn ain't no better. Either. Well, how, how do you guys feel about uh, Moana? I love no. it. That's one of my favorite movies ever. I like the um, character in it and how they pay attention to the um, culture of Polynesians, right? Yep. I think yeah. I think that was the island was black, black folks, cool. but they're just going to say they're Polynesian. Mm, yeah. Yeah, they did that movie some nothing. justice. That I was, enjoyed that was, it thoroughly. Have not hey, to see hey, it. Hey, I've heard hey, that good island about was it. thick, though. Hey, that yeah. island was thick, though. Was, you know what I'm hey, about? you talking about that late? Tahiti? Tif- Tahiti? Yeah, oh, yes, sir. I'll, she, I'll, turn, she, I'll turn into yeah, a volcano. Yeah. Or, do her something fierce. <laughs> you funny as hell, bro. <laughs> Give her raging penis? <laughs> yes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. Continent, continent shifting sex. Wow. This man, the Titan uh... for real, bro. You like the Colossal Titan or the Beast Titan. <laughs> <laughs> this man, all some other shit, man. No, but that, that movie what was What's wrong cool. with him? That movie was just oh, cool. All around. All around. It was, it, I, I say it's very good representation of what was really going on with them being travelers and traveling to different islands and stuff like that because that's what that's not actually some of the stuff they actually did in history. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Y'all remember Atlantis? No. Yes. 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 Sir. yes. yes. Would, y'all, would y'all consider that like a well? What was Atlantis? I, I will hey, consider oh, a good representation. Cr- Little, I'm gonna beat you, bro. I, I'm a, <laughs> we we, we, we <laughs> don't have to take you I'm, to I'm a sorry, dark room. I don't, I, I'm sorry, I don't fucking go back in like time and watch all my fucking childhood movies. Bro, how, like, how you you're like twenty? I, aren't you twenty three? I'm 23, yeah, but I don't fucking go back. You should have grown up with all these movies. It's not like Dude, these are like memorial time. I was five years old. I will give you my business <laughs> oh, plus subscription, bro. Just watch it. Oh, baby, hey, get this man some. <laughs> hey, get this man some, bro. He need help. I am the he youngest help. one here, so I like I can't remember a show I watched back when I was like five. Okay, How is like I'm, a year older than you? You're like two years younger than me. Chill out. <laughs> dude, I don't like, fucking remember. Okay, you don't understand. Well, stop remembering, Leo. How? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> stop fucking remembering. What? Fuck around with this nigga. <laughs> Everybody on Leo and his memory. I what said nothing. I'm just chilling. I said nothing either. I just, <laughs> I just let Leo rock. Leo, you guys remember? are bringing up shit that he, I do not remember. If he can't remember, don't get on his head because he can't remember. Hey, no, nah, he even start. I'm a big one. Start remembering now. <laughs> you, you are a bully. <laughs> <laughs> a bully too. Denzel edition. Funny as hell. Nah, Atlantis was, was dope. I you love Atlantis. You, oh you think God. it was a good like representation of POCs? Ah, fuck yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's about it? that dick girl. I'm hey, talking about. Was. I'm talking about hell, the boy. The Latinos the were just a bunch of black people with a hyper, hyper advanced culture. And they live long. Them motherfuckers live for thousands of years. They have a whole bunch of advanced super culture energy stuff that you just can't think about and do today. It, it was just a cool. It's just cool. Like hey, you know that people don't like that movie. Like that movie is not I like real see, love. I bet they don't I, like I black people being powerful. Person that heard that. A lot of people don't like Atlantis or Treasure Planet. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why. Because the they, because they smoke crack, they lame. That's why. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm coming for y'all. If y'all don't like what I just came out of my mouth, fight me. Hey, chill out, bro. We got <laughs> young <laughs> listeners out there. <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is those are good movies, and people just don't like them, and I just don't understand. That's all I'm saying. Um, but yeah, I think I think Atlantis is pretty good. Um. As yeah. far as representation goes, pretty good. Um, I don't know. Has it, it, um, you guys watch Pocahontas, right? Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. I yeah. got nothing. 
Okay. Leo, oh. if you... <laughs> Dude, you guys keep bringing up old Disney movies. No, I don't he's know. Right. Oh, what do you mean? Yeah, these are classics, cool. Leo. Nah, these, these are classics. This is ah. right um, I'm sorry. No, I don't fucking want your subscription boring. to Disney Plus to rewatch all the fucking old classics. Hey, right. there's the other stuff Disney on Disney Plus. Plus. You could just watch... You could honestly just watch ABC and they, they play the shit, but it doesn't matter. Um, so, I, Pocahontas, I, yeah. Wild. I feel like I feel like that's what happened. <laughs> I don't know, um, because wasn't Pocahontas loosely based off of somebody named Pocahontas? Yes, uh, right. yes. The, the actual history of Pocahontas. The, I do know the actual history. I don't know the movie. Oh fuck! The up. actual the actual history is that um is if I remember correctly, do you know the villain in Pocahontas? I forgot his name, but that is the What's actual that? dude who married Pocahontas. Uh. uh the whole thing was that he, uh, when they, when English settlers came to America, they they met that tribe. They were like, they basically just westernized that tribe. Um, and Pocahontas was brought over to England to show, hey, look, we we can we can turn these savages into like proper like gentlemen and women. And like Pocahontas, that's what the whole thing with Pocahontas was that she was supposed to like be shown as, see, we we can like turn them away from being savages. That that was the whole like, ra- like racist thing. Edwards, the Edwards, ri- white people but, came over and said, "Ooh, look at all this dark skin booty. We can rape. Y'all look like and we y'all gonna fucking freedom. make them be what we want them to be." They was giving them freedom. Yeah, free freedom rape. I still hate how they like sexualized Pocahontas. Like she was supposed to be much younger. They made her pretty much. Into, I think like, Pocahontas a- actually was. Yeah, like, she was 14. a grown woman. Yeah, she was a I'm little girl. Really? I thought yeah. she was always a little girl in, the, in real life. Yeah, no, in real life she was like real fourteen. Life, she, she's a little girl. In the movie, they made her into like thirty something years old, busted. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, like, she. Hey, she was thick as fuck for no reason. <laughs> what else? She was regular. <laughs> oh my god. They wilding for that one, oh champ. God, oh, I was like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty much like yeah. <laughs> Yeah, them, them savages over there. And the whole movie was like savages, savages, savages. But like, I like some of the music in Pocahontas. Only like two songs, but like, that don't mean it's okay for that representation. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I, well, I, 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 I guess th- this one uh, for Hawaiians, Lilo and Stitch. Yeah, dude, I was. Oh yeah, yeah. The Lilo whole and Stitch was a hit, boy. Nani was sticking in a bowl of meal. I do remember Bro. Lilo and Stitch. Yeah, yeah Lilo and Stitch was a good no representation. Reason. That was good. That was real good because they just they treated them right. They they really did. Um, I like how I, I I seen this on social media. I ain't gonna lie, so I'm about to reiterate it. They 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 like Nani. Um, it's a part where now um, Lilo and Nani was to get a dog, and then she picked Stitch, and everybody knew that wasn't a dog. But she was the lady was like, uh, should I tell her it's not a dog? She's like, no, don't tell her it's not. But don't say anything to her. Just just let her have her you know her quote unquote dog. Like that that mm. was love right there because she could have easily just like ruined her imagination and just like that's that's not a dog. But she didn't. Um <laughs> she she used to let Or her she could have been normal. <laughs> like, we not tell it we not tell it kids the truth nowadays what's going on. But but she but uh, she also new groove. Oh I like ooh, I like the Emperor's New Groove. I, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know very funny to movie. Though. What were what was their fault? Like, was they Mayans? Or something? Yeah, they're, they're Mayans. Mayans. Yeah, Mayans. Yeah, it was Mayans. It was Issa supposed to be Mayans. some white lady. What, what, what was she a raisin? Why was she shriveled up like that? <laughs> she was just a shriveled old bitch. That's all she yeah, was. She was, she was just a, a shriveled yeah, up. Yeah, she was just a shriveled old bitch who wanted to take control of the kingdom. Uh mm. and Cusco and ah uh, fuck, what was the other dude's name? Crunk. Crunk. Not Crunk. How you talking? Oh, 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 are you talking about the vis- the villager? Yeah, the villager, yes. Pacha? Pacha. Yeah, Pacha, Pacha, Pacha. yes. Yeah, it, 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 Cusco, like, learns, like, oh, like, this is how, like, my citizens are, like, how they are. And, like, there's basically a dramatic difference from being a king, prince, or whatever, to, like, seeing, like, the common life. Yeah. Um. And, yeah, no, that all, was pretty good. In order for that, he had to be turned into a llama. So you get hit with that drama. <laughs> 
the, hold up, there is one I don't see it as racist a little bit, but it, it, you ever notice how whenever you're in a school, like every, I'm pretty sure every city school in Chicago has done this, where it's mixed between white and black students. Like there's a good ratio between there or someone like around there. Who, are you, who here remembers our friend Martin? <laughs> Yeah. That's a show I want. That's a movie I want yeah. to bring up. You guys can bring it up Disney. Who you could have brought it up. Our friend Martin. It's a it's a movie. You could bring it up, Bruh. Hey, because I, I remember that hey. one. I don't remember that, but I, I vaguely remember it. Now, our Leo, friend, Leo, go know. crazy. Okay. If you remember it, go crazy. Explain. Okay. Please. okay. Our friend Martin is a movie that only has ever played in schools that have a clear diversity. It's never played it like straight like at all but i remember that our friend martin is a movie about a kid uh kids learning about martin luther king um oh, I remember that kid, shit. like they're like oh but what the fuck do we have to learn about this dude we don't give a shit so they yeah, ditch man. class and then somehow go back in time to the era hey. where martin luther king is a hey. kid and yeah they're like oh hey dude let's like hang out with us let's go like hang around with, Mar- uh, with martin and so they, they, they experience like uh so they, they basically so, experienced like discrimination and all that back in like, back in the, the day, and then I forgot the main character, but he brings back Martin to the modern day. But because Martin never gave his speech or did the whole like, I had a um, had a dream, like, I had a dream, yeah. Racism, yeah. yeah. racism still is like hard as fuck in the future, and then the whole point is like, fuck, I gotta get Martin back to the past, so Martin can experience his like uh. So Mark, so Mark can give his whole speech and like do what he did, right? But he I, also I dies. Yeah, every, yeah that I, 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 and that movie was a bob. I, I remember liking that movie actually. I liked it as a kid too. It was played. I played. They played that every year in middle school. Every year, Bro, he was pretty much sending him to his death. But like, you had to do it. Yeah, that was. Yeah, I, I was feel, yeah, I, I felt that one. I was like, "Damn, G, not I, like I, this." I always oh no! This. Every, he, every when time he I walked back, he knew he was gonna die. Yeah, and he just like, "I'm like, all right, I see what's gonna have to happen." Right, and he was like, "Martin, like, no!" I'm gonna have to go get like, whacked hey. for the. I gotta get whacked for the culture. I for bet. The thing for the culture. The thing about that movie, though. I've always ever, uh, whenever that movie is brought up, everyone's just like, yeah, that movie's only ever put on, I noticed, during when history, it was clear, no, no, not during Black History, when it was a race, like some sort of race war. Like, not like race, but like, it, it was clear on, like, oh, uh, like a black person, a white person got, uh, got into a fight at school. And they're like, oh, we got put on the movie now. I don't, um, or, that's like, what happened. I don't, uh, that's why. I don't know what the fuck you talk about, Leo. You cap it now, bro. No, 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 no. That might be, experience. That might be no, I'm just saying, like, you had a different experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, but that's what people told me. It's like, yeah, for some reason, that movie wasn't played, like, you know, during February, like, for like, uh, like Appreciation Month. No, it was always played that movie when we we noticed, like, some minorities got into a fight, high racial tension. Yeah, like, during high racial yeah. tension. That's hilarious. That's what I'm people. Not, told I'm not gonna me. hold you. That's some funny ass shit. But I don't know if that's, that's correct. I, I, did you guys reckless. ever experience that? Where like no, that movie was only my, played oh, during that time? Because no, because my middle school, black school. Yeah, right. my middle, my middle school. We they play every well Mondays coming up is Martin Luther King Day. So that that we play literally on Martin Luther King Day or the day after when we come back to school. Like we literally played around that time around Black History Month. Okay. Mm-hmm. But I and like it was no, it was never a, a situation like you like like you explained. So you just told me something that I didn't even know goes on in other other schools. So yeah, that's Thank wild. You. Yeah, yeah, that's that's reckless. I I was told that yeah, we always noticed this movie during like racial tension in school. That's what I remember hearing about. For me, I remember seeing it in middle school and elementary school, but I don't I don't remember why we played it. I remember we just had it on. <laughs> I don't know. It, I don't know if it was during. I don't remember if it was during February, like during Black Appreciation Month. But I remember, like, I remember just watching that movie. Yeah, I I seen that movie so many times. I was like, oh, uh, here you go. We watching my friend Martin get shot at the end again. <laughs> no more now. It's like no, <laughs> Ricky. But Ricky, just just a quick. Quick diversion because you because you mentioned my friend Martin, the Boondock show 
show what would happen if he just didn't die. I mean, if he got oh, shot, my but favorite episode he came back. He came back nowadays, and like literally everything still happened. To, happened the same. So he yeah. literally was like, um, Clearly damn, I died. I I got shot in the head for you niggas to act like niggas. This is this is. This is some bullshit. Yeah. I thought the whole, mm-hmm. the whole thing was that. Well, I, I don't mean to be like kind of sending or rude or anything when I'm saying that. I thought the whole aspect of, oh, okay, like the black community did not progress ever since. Yeah. A- after Martin Luther King. I thought that was the whole like. Okay. The reason for the what the boondock said? Yeah. I, it was like, I mean, they kind of just a bunch of degenerates. We're, okay. Like, this, this, I'm just going to say. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it. Uh, I don't care. Go crazy. Integration go crazy. was not a good idea. Martin Luther King, the other America, this is the last speech he made before he got killed, said the, the way they famously quote, I led my people to a burning building, which he was talking about integration. Because then we end up getting this complex to where we gotta um we see white people as like gods and shit. Um I'm exaggerating who? on the whole guys part, but I mean I'm not <laughs> I'm, I'm like who far, I'm not too far off. Like most who? most black people, not not like it's very small minority that just kind of like in individuals, but like most of them, that's that's where they are. So the whole Martin Luther King episode was to show like, oh yeah, he didn't die, but like literally you died. It was weird because he never like he seen how after his death where we came, but he never actually talks about how like whoa maybe I was actually wrong in. Uh, telling black people to want equal rights because it could never be equal. Like, it, like in order for it to be equal, there'd be like some extremes that had to happen. But, um, but that's one of my favorite episodes because he like, I I I literally got dog sick on me. I got f- sprayed by fire hose. I got shot and everything else. And y'all want to act like y'all ain't got no goddamn sense? I was like, yep, mm-hmm. here we go. That's that's what happened. I'm like, that is facts. That is like one of my favorite episodes. And then Uncle Ruck is a dumb man. I've been throwing bricks at you for four to seven years. <laughs> said, shut up, you black son of bitch, and threw a rock at you. <laughs> and he, he, never, black son of bitch. he never hit him. He always missed. He <laughs> missed every <laughs> time. <laughs> he threw like it was <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> But yeah, oh, no, no. Yeah, you're you're kind of not wrong. It's just like you you've done nothing with your lives, and I and I got I did all this for nothing. But he, like I said, he didn't really talk about that 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 last part. But you know, yeah, fair episode. Yeah. That that's 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 your code. I ain't gonna hold y'all. Um, but yeah, I, I'm kind of over my friend Martin. I'm like I right. I I haven't seen that shit in years. I haven't seen it since middle school as well. That's funny because I, 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 I literally, literally watched it last movie, year. Though. I literally watched it last year because it was just on YouTube. Yeah. And I was just like, this looks familiar. <gasps> Fred Martin! <laughs> <laughs> not, not the squeal, though. <laughs> oh because the five-year-old me came out. I was like, yes! Let's fucking watch it! <laughs> uh, so you ever notice how So somebody pointed this out? This not a. These aren't just uh, the movies, but like even in that that movie, the the black people usually have like a set standard of hairstyle, where it's like the box and like the fade, the high top. Fade, oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, I will mention mm-hmm. this. I did notice that in a lot of like old cartoons, a lot of black uh, African Americans had the same black. hairstyle of, of like. Yeah. What the fuck is that? I don't know. I don't know what the hairstyle is called, but it looks like that bat, the box one. Do you remember the? Yeah, I think box what's it called? You know the box character fade. from um, Recess. Recess. Recess? Mm-hmm. There's a high top. A yeah, the high top. High top fade. Yeah, the high top. Yeah, there we go. Every character seemed to have that. If you look at the Magic School Bus, um, like hey, I mentioned, I Recess. It was the I think that's the of... typical hairstyle. Yeah, it was hard for them to write. There's like dreads now. Locks and whatnot. That's fair, but that's just was, that was funny. I somebody pointed that out. It was like, I, you're not wrong. But I will say this: I, 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 I have been keeping up a little bit in certain things. I, I realized that a lot of people of color uh, are getting into more in the animation industry and are pushing more towards like their creation of you know a better representation of the here. Yeah, better representation. The, and the, I, I'm not, 
and I'm really happy that's going on right now because we we have shows like the um, Owl House, uh, Craig at the Creek, and you know a lot more. And I'm like, okay, cool. Like we're actually getting rep- like you know non white char- like main characters. See the, the I, I the fact I like you brought that up because I know um, mm-hmm. a lot of times when they're making these characters, um, it's not. So in order for you to like talk about a culture, it'd be best for, for the person to be a part of the culture, right? Because yes. now you're looking from the outside in, and what you not and what you, what we show is not always what is accurate. Because let's just be honest, it's certain things we say at home that we wouldn't say around, like say white people. Like let's be real. yeah. So, right. um, for example, like Black panther i know this isn't an animated movie but like uh a black dude like um directed a lot of that and stuff like that and it was a lot of like black culture in there coming from the inside you know what i'm saying not from the outside looking in like literally from the inside so like Mm -hmm. uh even like so perfect example um one of the uh what is it i what it's a woman i forget her name but she was like the designer for like the environment um so like when he mentioned the uh the the poster with like oh the different hairstyles and it was like all like the black guys the hairstyles stuff like that like she would be the person that would have like put that on the wall or um how when he walked into his mom's shop it was like it, it was very afrocentric you know what i'm saying so like that's it's that's like really good to got people like from that culture talking about that culture Um, and with True. more with more people from di- uh, more ethnicities from all cultures, um, being inside those industries and actually getting jobs there and having better opportunities, um, I think we will see a lot more animated everything. Really, um, it's going to be a lot more accurate. Um, yeah. Yeah. Thanks. I don't know if you've ever seen. Uh, uh, I was just, I was say Cannon Busters, but that's that's a series. But I like Cannon. Cannon, bro. Oh, I know. Come out. Yeah. Um, Billy. I can't got, wait for season two. Me too, bro. They got a few. I'm not. I ain't getting to that. But you ever seen? Um, was Afro Samurai considered? Wait, so is the Afro Samurai movie considered? Like it's uh, it is a movie. It's an animated movie, yeah, but it's a it's. Yes, and it's animated. It's anime, but you know it's still. It, it counts. It, it counts. counts. Okay, I d- I do like the movie. Uh, I like Afro's character because he's kind of I like okay because it, stereotypically black people are like just loud and over the top, and his character is like he just chill as fuck. He just be like, he's the stoic black guy. Yeah, he just be vibing and killing. Just vibing, vibing I mean, and killing, and vibing and killing. Ninja Ninja be be funny as hell, but like, like my boy Afro just what you about to do? I'm just going I'm about to I'm about to kill him. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, he gotta die. Yeah. Um, you ever seen? It's it is a movie. It's supposed to be and if I'm not mistaken, it's anime. I don't know if it's anime or animated, like cartoon, like American or Japanese. I don't remember, but it's one called bullshit. Um. And so they're supposed to be Hispanic, if I'm not mistaken. And is that movie on Netflix? Yeah, it's on Netflix. Is it like a dude like a book? His, char- his his character's like it's supposed to be Hispanic, but his character's like his his model is just like a black figure. Ooh, um, I and it's funny because Vince Staples is his. his his friend is like he has a skull head, and his is Vince Staples. And Vince Staples is the rapper. Um, yeah, yeah. Who are you talking about now? Uh, I don't know. Like, I I, I like that movie because I feel like, even though it's animated and it does kind of show, it shows like the gangs of what I think they were in like L.A. or something like that, and it shows a lot of those gangs and shit like that. Um, I like the fact that it was animated. I ain't gonna lie. I just I just really like that it was animated. Um, I like I do like the uh, animation style. I like some of the stuff. I don't like the fact that he had cockroach friends. Uh, that was a little weird. I was like, I don't. Is that offensive? I don't. Should I be offended or should they be offended for you guys? I don't know. 
But uh, that's pretty. I think it's pretty good though. I like I like that movie personally. Yeah, it was lit. Um. Uh, how do you guys feel about just I don't know random theme, Aladdin? I loved Aladdin. That shit is legendary. Oh, it was a pretty good, it was, it's a pretty good retelling of a uh, of uh, Sinbad, Sinbad in the in the. Uh, 40 Thieves or uh, 50 Thieves or something like that. I forget the name of the story. but Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. The Arabian Nights Collection. Mm-hmm. Or whatever it's called. Yeah. I well, think Al- I think Aladdin also had something like the original version. It had like this lyric in uh, Arabian Nights. And they were talking about like um, where this is the land where like we cut off your hand and we do something. It's barbaric, but hey, it's home. Uh-huh. And that was kind of yeah. like a, a bad representation of um, Arabic people? Yeah. yeah. He's supposed to be Arabic. And I, I wouldn't say it's bad representation. It's kind of like showing, because again, like, uh, if you go into Aladdin 2, because it was like Aladdin 2 and a 3, I believe. Right, his, right. His dad is the leader of the band of 40 Thieves, I believe. I don't remember the name of the, the band. It's either 40 or 50 Thieves. Please, if you, if you know what it is, just say it, but. I think it's all about it Alibaba. Is 40, yeah, Alibaba. Yeah, I, I think his dad is Alibaba. He's he's the leader of the thieves. So literally, that that line will make sense because they used to be stealing stuff and they would cut people's hands off for stealing. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Did you know that yeah. the Lion King came from a Japanese manga? Did not know that. Yeah. What? Yeah. Look it up. It was, I don't remember. I think it was, called. it was called. I think it was called Kimba the Kimba the White Lion. Yeah, that's what it was. Yup. Yup. Oh, you talking about that movie? The movie or the anime or the manga? It's because it was, it turned into a movie, didn't it? Yeah, I think so. That was wild. Kimba the Lion. Or Hamlet. That's kind of. That's kind of cool. Did not know that. Hamlet. Good old Kimba. All right, so how y'all feel about Big Hero 6? I thought it was lit. I thought it was underrated. I thought ah. it did a great job. Not going to hold, hold you. Not going to hold you. <laughs> Not I didn't know how much I didn't know how much of an asshole hero was, the main the, the main character until I played Kingdom Hearts. This what? main hero is a whole douchebag. I mean, he really is. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you do? Well, he when he was being depressed because his, his brother died, he was literally treating the people that was like there for him like shit for a good minute. And he was trying to I turn mean, Baymax into a murderer. I mean, that was pretty. That's pretty normal. Uh, depression. No, <laughs> like, if you listen to some of his lines, they're pretty like, like snarky and like he, he definitely he's he's an asshole. Like, I couldn't tell you his, the specific lines, but it's certain times where he'll. He'll be chilling, and they'll be like, oh, you know, how you doing? He'll be like, oh, you know, better than you. You'll be like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I think that's normal considering the circumstances. No, no, no. It no, was no. supposed this to was, be able to. This is this is like, after that, though. Like, this was, like, later in, in the show. It's like, yeah, it's, like, uh, much later. When he finally sees, like, the, the villain again, his Professor Callahan. Mm-hmm. Or, yeah. Mm-hmm. You killed my mm. I, I thought it was pretty lit. Um, I because they were supposed to be Asian, right? Some not all of them. There's a black dude, an Asian dude, and a white dude. Up no, in there. no, like Hero and his brother. It's Hero uh, and the yeah. brother's Asian. Is the girl Asian or? But they had a yeah. I was confused. They had a whole team. They had a whole team. The, the black, black. I like the black dude. The black dude was dope. Black dude was a genius. Um, they didn't have to do. You put the, the under white guy, on, the, you the rich it, white guy, turn it stone inside man. out. You, t- you turn it around. With it on. I'm like, yo, you nasty. You funny as hell. <laughs> yeah, rich nasty. white dude was a stoner, <laughs> and the, the girl was what was she? She was she was she Asian as well? I think she was white. She was, she was, she was white. Here, the one with the the, 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 ah! the one with the uh, the skates. Yeah, the, yeah, the she first was white. Was she was white. Yeah, she was white. No, there was two Asian. There was two women. So there was there was a white girl. The other one was Asian, I believe. I know what yeah. you're talking about. I think it's one, one that's like the love interest. And the other one was white because she she had a purse and she threw bubble gum at people or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, she had blonde hair too. Yeah, she. Yeah. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. I, I thought that was pretty cool because it kind of hit every culture. And it was kind of just like, all right, we're going we gonna to put the best of every culture up in here. That's best as we can. We're going to do we gonna do everybody right. It was the Power Rangers, basically. The, yeah, basically. Like that, but yeah, you're not wrong. They did have all different colors. Big Hero 6. I be forgetting about Big Hero 6 sometimes. Don't they got a series out? Yep. Nah, never watched know. that shit. I'm, that I'm scared. I'm not, I, I don't, it's not even that I'm thing's something wrong, but I just never watched it. I'm scared to. I'm like, not if it wasn't I'm for scared, Kingdom Hearts yeah. 3 or um, watching the movie, wouldn't know about it. I'm, I'm scared. You wouldn't to. know. I'm not watching that thing. I'm not watching it. I'm not doing it. Actually, I think <laughs> My one, one of the guys, uh, I watch, Skyward Wing. I know you know who that is, Jawan. Yeah, I think he was talking about uh the series, and he said it wasn't that bad. Hmm. Okay, it's on Disney Plus, right? Me, I have to watch it. I think so. Uh, all right, I'm I'm going to do it for the culture. <laughs> do it for yourself, right? Like, don't watch me. Just, just, I'm doing it. For, yeah, don't watch that shit. You don't watch that's that shit. for re- that's for that's for that pure re- research purposes. You, you can said, skip that shit, bro. You said, you said, I, I gotta it. watch it because everybody says it's terrible, so I gotta watch it to see how terrible it is for myself. You said watch it twice. Mm. Watch, I get it. Watch it two times. I get it. Just, just like Dragon Ball Evolution, I had to watch it to oh, see for myself. See, Are you watched that nah, shit? Man, what the fuck wrong with you? Nah. Yeah, I watch. I watch it on TV for free. I don't care. I don't care. You it ain't bad time for that shit, my guy. <laughs> it was bad movie Tuesday. Oh, do you have, y'all watch, y'all know Loop in the Thirties, right? Yeah, Lupin, you said Lupin the third. Yeah, you know they Lupin got the, movie the third. Out, right? Yeah, the three D one. Yeah, I watched it. No, 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 it's another one where he black. Oh, the black one. Yeah, what that one fuck? threw me off. I was, I, I didn't watch it. So apparently, you black. Black. I, 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 I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I was like, why is Lupin I don't, black? He ain't I, never been black I, before. What I don't think. On? I don't think I like that. That he was originally supposed to be black because that's. That's fucked up. I read that somewhere. You can fact check me on that one, but apparently he really... He, like, I, don't, he I don't know good. about that one, champ. I've been watching a lot of Lupin over the years. Oh, no. Lupin's my shit. Them. I grew up watching Lupin the third, but... Yeah, Fuji Cole with them fat-ass, big old, tick old bitties, boy. Thanks, wow. thanking. No, if, here's the thing. If, 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 Holland, what you're saying true, and Lupin was originally supposed to be black, that nigga was just chasing ass his entire life. <laughs> that, I don't like that. I do not like the fact that this nigga, if he was supposed to be a nigga, was supposed to be just out here chasing ass. Look, that's horrible. That's not good. We're better than that. Are we? Okay. No, I'm just playing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said, but are we though? Like, no, seriously. Like, oh man, y'all funny as hell. Um, Yeah, I can't do it anymore. So you closing remarks? Say so what? I said closing remarks. Anybody got any closing remarks? Well, my closing remarks is um just look at it with a non look at all things non biasedly and just look at it for what it is and just break it down for what you see. Not for what you want it to be, but for what it actually is, what they're showing you, how they're depicting it. For what it is, not your emotional bias, not oh I like this because of this. Just for for yourself to make yourself a better person. Just look at whatever you're watching or whatever you're reading, and don't put oh I feel fuck how you feel. It's really I, what I don't what is what is <laughs> right here, what is right in front of me, and what do what do I see right now? Not what I feel it is, just what it is. What is it right in front of me? At this moment in time, I I'm gonna have to disagree with half of what you said, Chris. Just because the whole point of movies is to invoke feelings, and you at least the first time you watch it, everything that you're gonna say most of the time is gonna be based on how the movie made you feel. At least if it was a good movie, if it was a bad movie, you're not gonna feel anything, and everything you said is very uh possible. Uh. But um. I would say if you want to do all of that, you got to watch the movie at least two times because the first time you're not going to be able to look at everything <clears throat> as detailed as you 
you've said, Chris. And that's just what I want to say is enjoy the movies. Be critical oh, afterwards. Oh, yeah. oh, always. Oh. Don't try to be offended off rip. <laughs> it's never a good idea. Let it, let it, uh, let it, let, let it don't, don't be one of those people that are offended by everything. Don't be one of those. Just be, just be, uh, you know, very vigilant on your second watch of the movie. That's all, all right. I gotta say. All right. all right, we good. We good. All right, that's Henshin. Yes, sir.